Aerial video shows the evacuation of a Florida nursing home where eight people died after Hurricane Irma. According to medical examiners, at least six of those people passed away from heat exhaustion. That nursing home's AC was not working because there was no power. We wanted to know what plans local nursing homes have in place, just in case of an emergency like that here. Hannah Lawrence tells us what she found out. Hannah. Calvin, the Fort Oglethorpe facility we visited says it has enough food and water for two weeks in storage in case of an emergency, but how does the decision making happen when the power goes out? Ron Pierce came to help. My sisters, uh, Robbie Joe and Louise Fletcher. Get to their doctor's appointment today. Hey, how you doing? Pierce's sisters have been watching the news about the two most recent hurricanes to hit the country. Robbie Joe says she can't imagine living in one of these nursing homes where water reached waist high levels in Texas or in Florida where eight people died after Irma cut the power. No, I can't. That would be a very, very, very bad thing to have happen to you. The two women, now in their 90s, say they practice state-mandated fire drills here at Rosewood each month. Just make sure you know where the, where the doors are and put it outside. It's just one of the reasons they feel like they'd know what to do in an emergency here. Oh, it's very important. Rosewood COO Jeff Clay says its staff usually spends the night when the area is expecting bad weather, anticipating a possible evacuation. You would try to get the residents to, to the a safe place immediately, but also within an hour, if power is not restored, um, then the plan is to evacuate, uh, depending on how hot it is and the weather conditions. Pierce lives in Fort Myers, Florida part of the year, so this latest tragedy hits him hard, but he's glad his sisters are safe here. Clay says a Rosewood facility in Huntsville, Alabama, lost power after a tornado a few years ago. It found ways to take care of the residents until the backup generator was fixed and make food using an outside grill. Calvin. Thanks, Hannah. In a statement, the nursing home says it was prepared for Hurricane Irma, but nobody anticipated it would still have to fight the heat with fans and portable air conditioning.